press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello students, welcome to the class. Yes, in the last session, uh, we were talking about exercise 4.1, right? From the chapter, the principle of mathematical induction. So we have solved um, 17 questions so far, right? Okay, let us continue from the question number 18. So same as before, prove that, prove that one plus 2 plus 3 and so on n is less than 1 by 8 times of 2n plus 1 whole square. Here this is a statement we have, you mean the statement says sum of first n natural numbers is always equal to 1 by 8 times of 2n plus 1 whole square. I mean we have to prove this is true for every natural number by using the principle of mathematical induction. For example, if n is 2, sum of these two, you mean 1 plus 2, that is 3, is less than 1, 1 by 8 into 2, 2, that is what, 4 plus 1, uh, that is, uh, I mean 25 by 8, okay, see, so yes, of course, 25 by, I mean 3 is less than 25 by 8 whole square, sorry, <coughs> this is what, 2, 2 is a 4 plus 1, 5 square, 20 by 8, I mean, when n is 2, you mean sum of first two terms, that is what, that is what 1 plus 2, that is 3 is always less than, always less than 25 by 2, like, like this. In the same way, when n is 3, you mean sum of first three natural numbers, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 should be uh, less than, it is always less than uh, 2, 3 is a 6 plus 1, 7, 7 square is 49 by 8. You can, uh, you can check that 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is what 6 is always less than uh, 49 by 8, you can check. In the same way, this is true for all natural numbers. That's what we have to prove by using the principle of mathematical induction. Okay. Sum of first n natural numbers is always less than 1 by 8 times of 2n plus 1 whole square. This is what we have to prove. Yes. Same as before. The first thing is what, what, we have, uh, what we have to do. So, let the given statement be p of n. That's what 1 plus 2 plus 3 n is less than 1 by 8 into 2n plus 1 whole square. So, we have considered, I mean we have taken the given statement as p of n. Step 1 is what? <coughs> Let, I mean I am checking for uh, whether it is true for n is equal to 1 or not. Uh, when n is 1 in the sense 1, I mean you have to take the first term in the LHS. 1 is less than, so substitute in place of n 1, you get 2 into 1 plus 1 whole square. What do you get? 1 less than, so 2, 1, so 2 plus 1, 3, so you mean 9 by 8 you get. So 9 by 8 is around 1.12 something. Of course, 1 is less than 9 by 8, which is true, which is, which is a true, okay. This implies P of 1 is true, P of 1 is true, okay. Now step 2 is what? Step 2 is assume P of n is true, P of n is true for some k natural numbers. I mean that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 till k is less than 1 by 8 times of 2k plus 1 whole square. Let us, uh, let us take on this as uh, equation 1, I mean statement 1. Uh, this is what, this is what assumed to be true, you mean sum of first k natural numbers is always less than 1 by 8 times of 2k plus 1 whole square. This is what we assume to be true. Now what we have to prove, we have to prove, we shall prove p of k plus 1 also true. So what is p of k plus 1? Let me write once again. So p of k plus 1 is 
this is p of k. So, p of k plus 1 is what then? Same. So, till k the term you write as it is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus k plus k plus 1, you write the next term k plus 1 should be less than 1 by 8 times of. So, in place of k, so replace k by k plus 1. 2 into k plus 1 plus 1, what do you get? 2 into, yes, 2 into k plus 1 plus 1. You get 2k plus 2 plus 1, even 2k plus 3. So, 2k plus 3 holds. This is to be proved now. You have to prove this LHS is equal to, you mean this left hand side should be less than that, uh, less than that of less than less than that of 1 by 8 times of this 2k plus 3 whole square. Okay, now let us uh, prove this. So, in the last case, I mean the previous e examples what we have done, we have taken LHS and we have proved RHS, right. But in this case, so let us take the equation first, okay. So, equation first is what we have. So, equation first is what? 1 plus 2 plus 3 till k is less than 1 by 8 times of 2k plus 1 whole square. This is what we have equation 1. What have to prove? We have to prove this is equal to this. You mean we have k plus k plus 1, right? So, let me add k plus 1 on both sides, adding k plus 1 on both sides, same as before do not uh, confuse. So, what you would get here 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on k plus k plus 1 added k plus 1 in the LHS and also in the RHS 2 k plus 1 whole square right 2 k plus 1 whole square plus k plus 1 right. So, I added k plus 1 on both sides of the statement. Now, we have to prove this is this is what should be less than 1 by 8 times of 2k plus 3 whole square. You may need to simplify this. This is less than, okay. Let us simplify this too. Let me take LCM as 8. So, 2k plus 1 whole square plus 8 times of k plus 1. You mean 8 times of k plus 1 which is, let me simplify this, this is what a plus b whole square plus 1 plus 4k plus 8k plus 8 by 8, right. This is less than, you mean this is less than 4k square, 4k plus 8k, <coughs> 12k and 1 plus 8 that is what 9 and I am going to read uh, I am going to rewrite this as 4 k square as 2, 2 k square 2 k whole square a square 9 as 3 square b square plus 2 a b 2 into a into b yes 2 k square is 4 k square right 3 square is 9 right 2 a b 2 to the 4 4 to the 12 k so this is of the form a plus b whole square you mean which is less than 2k plus sorry let me write here <coughs> what do you get this is less than 4k square plus 12k plus 9 by 8, right, which is less than, right, uh, 4k square, that is what, 2k whole square plus 3 square plus 2 into 2k into 3 by 8. I mean, this is less than, this is less than a square plus b square plus 2ab, you mean a plus b whole square <coughs> into 1 by 8, that is what your RHS, is, 1 by 8 times 2k plus 3 whole square, proved. So, this implies what? So, what I have proved, LHS that is what sum of first k plus 1 natural numbers is, is less than 1 by 8 
2k plus 3 whole square. This implies p of k plus 1 is true. That is it. At last conclusion you to write what? <coughs> Hence, therefore, therefore by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of <coughs> principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all natural numbers. This is what you have to write, must and should. Okay, so this is this is about question number 18. Students in the last examples, by using LHS, I mean by considering LHS, I mean uh, yes, using LHS we have proved RHS, right? But in this case, uh, I considered first equation 1, then added k plus 1 on both sides, then I proved, okay? So do not uh, confuse here, it is same as before, okay? So now, question number 19. Prove that, prove that, 19th question is like this, prove that n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 is a multiple of 3, is a multiple of 3 by using the principle of mathematical induction. I mean for any n natural number whatever the n, n may be 1, 2, 3, whatever, this product is always multiple of 3. We have to prove that by using the principle of mathematical induction, right? Yes, let me prove this. Using the principle of mathematical induction, steps are like this. Let P of n be the given statement, what? n into n plus 1 into n plus 5 is a multiple of 3. Students, you are familiar with the multiples, right? Multiple of a number, right? Okay. Uh, yes, now I am checking for, I mean n is equal to 1. Let n is equal to 1. Substitute n is equal to 1 in this. What do you get? 1 into 1 plus 1 into 1 plus 5. Yes, you get this what? 2 into 6. You get this is equal to what? 12, which is multiple of, which is multiple of 3. You mean P of 1 is true. So, 12 is a multiple of 3, right? Hence, P of 1 is true. Next, step 2 is what? <coughs> step 2 is assume. P of n is true for some k natural numbers. For some k natural numbers. I mean, that is P of k is what? k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 is a multiple of 3, right? Or I can write as this implies k into k plus 1 into k plus 5. This is a multiple of 3. So, I can write this is what? 3 times of from natural number, 3m. Take it as equation 1, where, <coughs> where uh, m is a natural number. Multiple of 3 in the sense it is a multiple, it is what? 3 into some natural number, no? Right? Hope you got it, students. But if it is a multiple of 3, so it should be equal to 3 times of some natural, whatever. For example, 30. 30 is a multiple of 3, 3 times of 10. 3 into some natural number, right? Like that, okay? So 12, 3 fours, right? 3 into some natural number. In the same way, if it is a multiple of 3, so it is, it should be equal to 3 times of some natural number. M is whatever, uh, it is a natural number. So this is what equation 1 we assume to be true. Now, what we have to prove? P of k plus 1 is also true. We shall prove. 
we shall prove p of k plus 1 is true. Yes, what is p of k plus 1? p of k plus 1 is, yes, as I said before, in place of k, replace k by k plus 1, that is it. So, k, you mean k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1, you mean k plus 2 into k plus 1 plus 5, so you get k plus 6. You have to prove this is also a multiple of 3. Let us prove this. Now, okay, let us prove this directly. Yes, we have k plus 1, k plus 2 into k plus 3. So, now k plus 1 into k plus 2 into k plus 6. I am going to rewrite this as k plus 6 into, I mean I write this first, k plus 1 into k plus 2. So, I am going to multiply these two terms by k and 6. First, by k, k into this, k into, I mean multiplying, I mean it is like a multiplying two binomials, okay. Uh, yes, uh, multiplying uh, an expression by a binomial. So, k into this plus 6 into this. So, k into these two, I mean k plus 1 into k plus 2 plus 6 into these two, k plus 1 into k plus 2. Right. This is what from the equation 1, k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 is what? So, this is 5, right? Right. So, k into k plus 1 into k plus 5 is 3 times of some natural number. So, I am going to replace this by 3 times of some natural number from the equation 1 plus 6 times of uh, when you multiply this word or you can uh, keep as it is or you can write k square plus uh, uh, k, uh, 5, 6 k plus 5, right, k square 1 into k, 5 into k, 5 k, you get 5. So, from these two, this and this, we have 3 common, I am going to take 3 outside. So, m plus 2 times of k square plus 6 k plus 5. Now observe here, this is 3 times of some, nat some natural number, I mean after simplifying this by for any m natural number and for any, for, any, for any k natural number, if you substitute you will get some constant here, right. In place of m plus 2 times of k square plus 6 plus 5, you will get a constant term, you get some uh, number. So 3 into that number gives a multiple of 3, right. Hope you got it students. For any m natural number, for any, for any k natural number, suppose if m is 1, if k is 2, you, you simplify it, you get some natural number again. So, that natural number into 3 gives a multiple of 3. I mean, k into k plus 5 into k plus is again a multiple of 3. Hope you got it students. A simple one. Just you have to prove what? 3 times of some, nat some natural number, that is it. For any m k natural number and for any, for any k natural number, so this simplification will give a natural number. I mean, yes, uh, this uh, this thing will give a natural number. So, 3 into natural number is a multiple of 3. So, which is, which is a multiple of 3. This implies P of k plus 1 is true. It's very simple students. You have to prove that, you have to prove 3 times of some natural number, 3 times of some natural number. Here also what I, what I have written, 3 times of some natural number m. In the same way, here also 3 times of something you have to write, you have to prove that is it. Okay, 3 times of some constant gives a multiple of 3. So, at last, hence by the principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all natural numbers. You have to write that. Okay, so this is about question number 19.
So whenever they ask about the multiple, just you prove multiple of 3 means 3 into some constant or multiple of 8, 8 into some constant, or divisible 8, 8 into some constant like that, okay. That's very simple and this, this is based on what your simplification. Let me move to question number 20. <clears throat> so, 20th one is like this. Prove that. Prove that. n power of 2n minus 1 plus 1 is divisible by 11. Is divisible by 11 by the principle of mathematical induction for all natural numbers. Yes, the statement is like this. For any n natural number, where whatever n, when is uh, 1, 2, 3, whatever, for any n natural number, this is always a multiple of 11. We have to prove this by the principle of mathematical induction. Let me prove this. Let p of n be the given statement. What? 10 power of 2n minus 1 plus 1 is divisible by divisible by 11. So, step 1, I am checking for p of 1. Let n is equal to 1. So, what do you get? 10 power of 2 into 1 minus 1 plus 1. You get 10 power of 2 minus 1, that is what 10, 1 plus 1, we will get 11, which is a multiple of 11 or which is divisible by? Divisible by? 11, right? So, this implies P of 1 is true. In the same way, we have to prove this is true for any natural number. So, let us use the principle of mathematical induction. Step 2 is what? Assume P of n is true for some k natural numbers. Okay, that is what P of k is, P of k is what? 10 power of 2k minus 1 plus 1 is equal to, so divisible by uh, what uh, 11 in the sense 11 into some constant, take it as equation 1, where m is any natural number. So, don't you, uh, I think you understand, we have to prove this is divisible by 11 in the sense it must be whenever, I mean, we, we, you say a number is divisible by 11 only when it is a multiple of 11, right? So, we have to prove this is divisible by 11 uh, for any n, for any k natural number. That's what we have to prove this is what? I mean to say, if it is divisible by 11, that implies what? It is always a multiple of 11, right? So, I have taken this is what a multiple of 11 for m, for m, for m natural number m is any natural number. For example, if it is a 22, so 11 2 is 33, 11 3 is like this. So, m is any natural number. I mean, I assume this is true for any m natural number. Now, what we have to prove? We shall prove, we shall prove p of k plus 1 is true. What is p of k plus 1? p of k plus 1 is what 10 power of 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 is a multiple of or is divisible by 11. You have to prove that, right? Okay. Now, let, it, let me prove this. This is equal to 
10 power of uh, 2k plus 2 minus 1 plus 1. Right now, this is equal to ten power of two uh, k minus one into ten square. I'm going to re rewrite this as ten cube ten power of two k minus one into ten square. When uh, again, when you add this to the same thing, plus one. Okay, because students, it is important that I mean here. Uh, if thing is you to write this in terms of 11 into some uh, 11 into some constant that's it i mean you to convert this uh, this form i mean you to, you to convert this thing into 11 into some constant then you will then what p of k plus 1 is 2 right so in such a way that you have to uh, simplify this that's it okay uh, see uh, 10 power of 2k minus 1 plus 1 is 11 m no so, you have to take 10 power of 2k minus 1 plus 1 outside from these things. For that, what I am going to do? See, here we have 10 square common in this, right? In the first term, 10 square, that is what 100 is common. Okay, but here we have 1, no? Uh, so, you, here we do not have 10, uh, 100 as common. So, make it 100 as common. You mean, if 10 square is common in this, in, in this term and in this term, we can take 10 power of 2k minus 1 plus 1 outside then you will get multiple of 11. So, for that what I am going to do 10 square into 10 power of 2k minus 1 you mean first term here I am going to write 100 minus 99 that is what 1. Then you get 10 square common in these two terms. So, if you take 10 square outside what do you get 10 power of 2k minus 1 plus 1 minus 99 hope you got it students right you get this now right this is how you uh, simplify you get what 10 square into so 11 m from the equation 1 this is equal to 11 m minus 99 so in these two terms this one and this one 11 is common you can take it outside 11 into 100 m you mean 10 square is 100 into m 100 m minus 9. So, 11 into some constant, it is a multiple of r divisible by 11, which is divisible by 11, which is divisible by 11. Hence, P of, at last what you write, yes, at last what you write, this implies P of k plus 1 is true p of k plus 1 is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, by the principle of principle of mathematical induction, p of n is true for all natural numbers. You have to write this, Marshall should, okay. So, this is about question number 20. Okay, let us move on to the question number 21st. 21st is like this. X power of 2n minus y power of 2n is divisible by is divisible by x plus y for any natural number x power of 2n minus y power of 2n is divisible by x plus y by the principle of mathematical induction. For example, if n is 1, you get x square minus y square. What is x square minus y square? x plus y into x minus y. Of course, x plus y into x minus y is divisible by x plus y. In the same way, you have to prove this is divisible by x plus y for any natural number by using the principle of mathematical induction. So, let P of n be the given statement, that is what x power of 2n 
minus y power of 2n is divisible by x plus y. Step 1 is what? Let n is equal to 1. Yes, what do you get here? You substitute n is equal to 1 in this case. You, you get x power of 2 into 1 minus y power of 2 into 1. You get x square minus y square. That is what? x plus y into x minus y using this relation x a square minus b square which is divisible by s yes, which is divisible by x plus y of course. So, x minus y into x minus x minus y into x plus y is of course exactly divisible by x plus y. Okay. So, this implies p of 1 is true because when you when you divide this by this you get this this cancel you get the exact answer x minus y right. Therefore, I can say this is exactly divisible by x plus y. Next step uh, 2 is assume p of n is true for some k natural numbers. For some k natural numbers, I mean, I mean, p of k is what x power of uh, 2k minus y power of 2k is divisible by x plus y, or I can write this is same as x power of 2k minus y power of 2k is equal to some m times of x plus y. So, where m is a natural number, some constant, m is a natural number. I assumed this is true for k natural numbers, you mean x power of 2k minus y power of 2k is a, uh, is a multiple of x plus y or divisible by x plus y. So, therefore, therefore, I have written this one as m times of x plus y, I mean x plus y into some constant, then it becomes a divisible by uh, I mean uh, uh, any number, any expression which is of the form some constant and x plus y will be a divisible by x plus y or it is always a multiple of x plus y. So, now this is what x power of 2k minus y power of 2k is divisible by x plus y. I assume to be true. Now, what I have to prove? We shall prove, we shall prove p of k plus 1 also true. I mean p of k plus 1 is 1 that is p of k plus 1 is x power of 2 into k plus 1 minus y power of 2 into k plus 1 is a divisible by, is divisible by x plus y you have to prove that ok let us prove this. Now, x power of 2k plus 2 minus y power of 2k plus 2, 2k plus 2, 2k plus 2. This is same as x square into x power of 2k minus y square into y power of 2k. I just uh, rewritten. Now, x square into x power of 2k, students observe here, x power of 2k equal to, when you take mi minus y power of 2k right side, it becomes what? y power of 2k plus m into x plus y, right? From the equation 1, x power of 2k is equal to m into x plus y plus y power of 2k. I am going to replace that, I mean x power of 2k is equal to m into x plus y plus y power of 2k minus y square into y power of 2k from equation 1 from equation 1. Now, this is equal to x square into or m into this 
m x square into x plus y plus x square into this y power of 2 k minus y square into y power of 2 k. Now, m x square into x plus y plus y power of 2 k is common from these two terms and x square minus y square is remained. What is x square minus y square? x plus y into x minus y. So, m into x square into x plus y plus y power of 2 k into x plus y into x minus y. Observe here x plus y is common in these two terms. Let me take it outside. So, when you take x plus y outside, what is remained? Whatever it may be, x plus y into some constant will be divisible by x plus y, that is it. What is remained? mx square is a constant or s m x plus y into something m x square plus uh, y power of uh, 2 k into x minus y. In this case, this is whatever the expression may be constant or whatever some expression, right? Then this is divisible by x plus y. Of course, when you divide this x plus y, x plus y, x plus y cancel, you will get the remainder this. Anyway, this is divisible by x plus y, which is which is which is divisible by it need not it, it need uh, need not be a constant maybe any expression then this into this which is always divisible by x plus y so this implies what p of uh, uh, k plus 1 is true therefore by the principle of mathematical induction by the principle of by the principle of mathematical induction p of n is true for all for all natural numbers right so this is about question number uh, 21st Okay, let us move on to the question number 22. Question number 22 says like this. Prove that 3 power of uh, 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by divisible by 8. Okay, this is divisible by 8 for any n natural. For example, if n is 1, what do you get? 3 power of 4, you mean 81, minus 8, minus 9, you may you may get 64. Yes, 64 is divisible by 8. In the same way, substitute n plus, uh, in place of n, n is equal to 2, you get something which is always divisible by 8. In the same way, we have to prove this is true for every natural number by using the principle of mathematical induction, right? Okay, uh, let P of n be the given statement that is what uh, 3 power of 2n plus 2 minus 8n minus 9 is divisible by 8. Yes, step 1. Let n is equal to 1. Okay, what do you get? 3 power of 2 into 1 plus 2 minus 8 into 1 minus 9. You get what? 
3 power of 4 81 right so 81 minus 8 minus 9 so 81 minus 17 you get 64 right yes of course 64 is divisible by 8 so this implies p of 1 is true right p of 1 is true now step, step 2 is assume p of n is true for uh, some k natural numbers i mean so p of k is what 3 power of 2k plus 2 minus 8k minus 9 a is the divisible by 8 is equal to divisible by 8 in the sense it is what it is equal to some 8 times of natural number m take it as the equation 1 where m is any natural number hope you got it students this is divisible by 8 in the sense it is equal to some 8 times of natural number 8 times of some constant right so this is what we assumed to be true i mean this is true for k natural numbers we have to prove we shall prove what this is true for k plus 1 natural numbers also we shall prove p of k plus 1 also true what is p of k plus 1 yes 3 power of so in place of k should it k plus 1 you mean 2 into k plus 1 plus 2 minus 8 into k plus 1 minus 9 you have to prove this is also divisible by 8 ok let me prove this so I am going to write this as uh, 3 power of 2k plus 2 into 3 square can I 3 power of 2k plus 2 into 3 square it will be the same thing minus 8k minus 8 minus 9 students from the equation 1 3 power of 2k plus 2 is equal to what take minus 8k minus 9 right side of the equation you get what 8m plus 8k plus 9 right 3 power of 2k plus 2 will be equal to right from the equation 1 from the equation 1 3 power of uh, 2k plus 2 equal to take these two right side 8m plus 8k plus 9 right hope you got it students now replace uh, this uh, 3 power of 2k plus 2 by this yes 3 square into yes 3 power of 2k plus 2 is equal to what 8m plus 8k plus 9 minus 8k minus 8 minus uh, 9 is minus 17 student you, you you got it i think 3 power of 2k plus 2 is equal to what take these two terms right side you will get 8m plus 8k plus 9 from the equation 1 from equation 1 now this is equal here we get 3 square is what 9 now so 9 into this 72m 9 into this 72k plus 9 9 is 81 minus 8k minus 9. so 72m 72k minus 8k so 64k 81 minus 17 so plus 64 take 8 outside from these terms you get what right i am going to take 8 outside 9m plus 8k plus 8 of course 8 into some constant is divisible by 8 that's it so which is which is divisible by 8 this implies p of k plus 1 is that's it. At last, 
Hence, by the principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all natural numbers. You have to write that. Okay. So, this is about question number 22. Okay, question number 23 that is prove that <coughs> 41 power of n minus 14 power of 1, uh, sorry, n is a multiple of 27. Is a multiple of 27 by using the principle of mathematical induction. Yes, of course, when n is 1, you only get 41 minus 14, you get 27, which is divisible by 27. When n is 2, you get the same thing, multiple of 27. When n is 3, multiple of 27. In the same way, you have to prove this is true for every natural number using the principle. <laughs> 41n minus is a multiple of Twenty-seven. Given statement. Step one is what? Yes. Uh, let n is equal to one. You get forty-one power of one minus fourteen power of one. You get forty-one minus fourteen. You get twenty-seven. Which is which is a multiple of twenty-seven. This implies P of 1 is true. Step 2 Assume P of n is true for some k natural numbers. Right? I mean, that is P of k is what? 41 power of k minus 14 power of k is a multiple of 27. That is, 41 power of k minus 14 power of k is equal to some 27 into m for some m natural numbers. Take it as equation 1. We assume to be true for m is a natural number. This is what we assume to be true for k natural numbers. This is equal to multiple of 27. Then what do we have to prove? We have to prove p of k plus 1. We shall prove. We shall prove p of k plus 1 is also true. What is P of k plus 1? P of k plus 1 is, yes, 41 power of k plus 1 minus 14 power of k plus 1. You have to prove this is also divisible by 27. Okay. I am going to write this one as 41 power of k into 41 minus 14 power of k into 14. So, from the equation 1, 41 power of k is equal to 27m plus 14 power of k. I mean, I take a minus 14 power of k right side, you will get what? 41 power of k is equal to 27m plus 14 power of k. So, I am going to replace this by 27m plus 14 power of k into 41 minus 14 power of k into 14 from equation 1. 
student hope you got it 41 power of k is equal to 27 m plus 14 power of k i mean i take on this right side okay so i substitute in this equation now this is equal to 27 m into 41 27 m into 41 plus 41 into this 41 into 14 power of k minus 14 power of k into 14 this is equal to 27 m into 41 so in these two 14 power of k is common 14 power of k into 41 minus 14 what is 41 minus 14 27 so here this is 27 here also we have 27 take it outside so 27 is common outside what is it what is remain 41 m here 41 m plus here 14 power of k of course 27 into some constant is divisible by 27 is divisible by 27 for any m natural number for any k natural number. this is it is divisible by or multiple of 27 this implies p of k plus 1 is true that's it at last conclusion is what by the principle of mathematical induction p of n is true for all natural numbers that's it so this is about question number 23 Okay, students, let us move on to the last question of this chapter. Prove that 2n plus 7 is less than n plus 3 whole square for all natural numbers. Suppose if n is 1, you get what? 2 plus 7, 9. Here, 1 plus 3, 4 square. That is what? 9 is less than 16. Of course, in the same way when n is 2, what you get 8 plus 7, 15. So, 2 plus 3, uh, 25. I mean, 5 square is 25. So, of course, uh, 2 to the 4 plus 7. When n is 2, 2 to the 4 plus 7, 11. 11 is, up, of course, less than 25. In the same way, it is true for any natural, any n natural number you have to prove by using the principle of mathematical induction. Let P of n be the given statement. That's what 2n plus 7 is always less than n plus 3 whole square for any natural numbers. 2n plus 7 less than n plus 3 whole square. Step 1 is let n is equal to 1. What I get 2 into 1 plus 7 less than 1 plus 3 whole square. So, what do you get? 9 is less than 1 plus 3 whole square, that is 16, which is true. Which is true. This implies P of 1 is true. Next step is. Assume P of n is true for some k natural numbers, right? That is P of k is what? So, 2k plus 7 is always less than k plus 3 whole square. 
This is what we assume to be true, take it as equation 1. We shall prove what? We shall prove P of k plus 1 is true. Right? P of k plus 1 is true. What is P of k plus 1? What have to prove? P of k plus 1 is what? So, in place of k, substitute k, uh, k plus 1. You mean 2 into k plus 1 plus 7 should be less than k plus 1 plus 3. You mean k plus 1 plus 3 whole square. You mean you have to prove? You have to prove 2k plus 2 plus 7. You mean 2k plus 9 should be less than k plus 4 whole square. You have to prove this. We have to prove this. 2k plus 9 is always less than k plus 4 whole square. That implies what p of k plus 1 is true. Whenever you prove this, that says what p of k plus 1 is true. That is it. So, what I have to prove now? Okay, now let me prove 2k plus 9 is always less than k plus 1 whole square. Okay, 2k plus 9. Now, yes, 2k plus 9, students, observe here, here 2k plus 9, here also we have 2k plus 9, here also we have 2k plus 9, they are equal, right? Here I am going to add some more terms here, for any k natural number, for any k natural number, these are true, these are equal now, when? When when I'm going to, when I add some more terms to this, what I'm going to add? Uh, I'm going to add 6k for any k natural number. Okay, one more time I'm going to add uh, k square. Okay, one more term uh, term I'm going to add uh, plus seven. Then, of course, for any k natural numbers, this is always less than, this is always less than, this, this will become bigger than this because 2k plus 9, we have, here we have 2k plus 9, so here we have square number k, square number, I'm, f7 is added, again, 6 times of k is added for any k natural number, then for any k natural number, this is always bigger than this, of course. You can take any value of k and substitute you get, this will be, this will be the bigger. Sir, how you know you have to add these things? See, very simple students. We need to get k plus 4 whole square now. What is k plus 4 whole square? What is actually k plus 4 whole square? k plus 4 whole square is k square. So, I have taken k square, right? And this is what a plus b whole square now? k square plus 4 square, 16, right? So, 9 is there. So, I added 7, 16, 16 plus 2ab, 2 into k into 4, so 8k, you mean 2k we, we have at 6k, so we will get 8k. Of course, this is what of the form a square plus b square plus 2ab, so 2k plus 9 is always less than k plus 4 whole square. This implies p of k plus 1 is true. At last, you write, hence, by the principle of mathematical induction, P of n is true for all natural numbers. Okay, students, this is about the chapter, the principle of mathematical induction. Students, we have some other questions uh, in the solid examples. I think eight questions we have. So, you have to work out those. These are the same as exercise problems. Okay. Okay, this is about the uh, this is about the chapter principle of mathematical detection. Hope you learned well. All right. Okay. Thank you.